Dear Roddy! Uh, <laughs> holy shit, like, uh, oh fuck, I, I had been recording this fucking voice thingy for over 8 minutes and then I discover, oh man, I'm using my bad microphone, I didn't choose my good microphone, so that's fucked up. Alright, so anyways, let's take it all from the beginning again then. <laughs> so, I just wanted to talk a little bit here, update on my feelings... Uh, basically talk about love for a second here, or not for a second, it's rather for a couple of minutes here, or more, actually. Um, recording this voice as of, this voice thingy, as of rendering the, my previous video, just to get that out there. It's, uh, well, basically, me and Amanda, we broke up over two months ago, and... Well, it's <laughs> it's been quite hard on me. I mean, it's this is quite literally, without a doubt, one of the hardest times I've ever had in my time in my life. My English is failing me. Uh, it's really hard to dealing with this. Um, I'm doing more fine than not, I guess. But there doesn't it doesn't go a day by without me thinking about her and the breakup, and it's really draining my powers sometimes and sometimes I'm happy I'm laughing and sometimes I'm just crying and I don't know what the fuck to do with my life but I'm trying to keep myself together I'm trying my best to stay alive I guess to deal with this breakup um basically her feelings faded away she stopped loving me and it's only unfair to the both of us to still be together if one of us loses their feelings for the other, and I think that's pretty obvious. I shouldn't I shouldn't have to explain why that's the situation when you break up, like why you break up. But basically, it's it's kind of hard. And but I'm 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 doing more fine as the time goes on. So I'm just waiting for the day I can finally let it go, stop loving her, because as I'm recording this. I equally as much love her as I want to find new love. Um, I mean, it's been over two months, and I kind of feel like the only true way I'm going to actually get rid of my feelings for her is to find someone new. Maybe whoever's watching this doesn't feel the same. Maybe they, they wouldn't... Like, there's so many other people, I, some I know and uh, some I seen like comments and whatnot on f on uh, internet like they basically focus on themselves completely after a breakup but I feel like I've always loved myself I have focused so much on myself and I still do to this day so I'm kind of more or less ready to already uh, like maybe may I don't think I'm ready for a fully fledged relationship as a recording this but I feel like I I want to meet someone new, so I can so they can distract me, so I can focus on them and slowly lose my feelings for Amanda, and instead gain more feelings for this new person. That's what I kind of want, and that's what I'm hoping for. And wish me luck, basically. <laughs> so that's been that's that's been an update on me, how I'm feeling right now, what's going on. Uh, doing pretty good but sometimes not really good I have my friends who's helping me out when I need them I have my parents my siblings whatever and it's going I have all the support I need uh, but thank you anyways anyone who's uh, want to like say they're sorry for me or whatever thank you in advance I guess so you you can stop watching now if you just wanted to like hear how I'm feeling right now that little update there um but if you can stay if you want to listen to my story how I kind of found Amanda and how we got together I guess you could say I just want to spend a few more minutes here talking about that like our love story up to the point when I when we actually went together two years ago because it's a story I've been dying to tell publicly on YouTube 
in a video of mine for very long time now but I have never done it I've never completely felt like I want to do it I mean I wanted to do it but I've just not done it yet so I'm just gonna take it in here and tell the story if you're interested by all means keep watching but if you're not interested then just click away I doesn't matter if you don't care then you don't care and you don't hurt my feelings by not watching so basically if you're still here then I'm gonna tell you the story on how I met her so first things first basically we have always attended the same schools but we never like we never knew about each other we never noticed each other you know maybe we said hi once or twice because we went to the same school but we never noticed each other but basically in my freshman year and senior high school um just to get this out there this is a side note i'm sorry for doing this but <laughs> Basically, I went one year in senior high school, but it was too difficult to to major this technical thing. Like, it's it's a major in Sweden called technical. It was too hard, too tough for me, so I switched to Istiet, where you can choose a couple of things. And one of the things you can where you, uh, that you can major in Istiet in uh, senior high school is music. And ever since I've been majoring music, so I basically had to redo my first year, but in another major. And now I have finished second year, so I have one year left. So I'm going to do four years instead of three years, basically. Just wanted to clear that thing up here. Hope you understood what the fuck I said. Uh, she was in her last year in, in uh, senior high school, because she's two years older than me. And I had... It was the start of the second term. It was, it was Jan January. I had went half a year in senior high school. She had went two and a half years. And uh, let's let's get back to the store now. And one day, I just started noticing her. Like we were, we went past each other quite a lot in the corridors, and I started taking. I started noticing her and I thought she looked kind of beautiful you know she she looks good and because I saw her more frequently my interest started growing bigger uh she was also I mean she was <laughs> always walking with a girl and I remembered both of them and I knew that they were sisters siblings I didn't know that they were I mean not siblings fucking twin sisters there we go I didn't know that they were twin sisters, but they are, and I found out later. But basically, uh, one day I started tryharding searching around on Facebook, and I did actually find her sister, and then through her sister I found Amanda. I didn't know e neither of their names, but that's how I found out that was her name. And basically, some time after that I wrote to her, and then after that I added her. And from there on, we kind of became bigger and bigger friends, I guess you could say. You know, we became closer slightly. It went really, really slow. Um, eventually, she got Facebook Messenger on, on her phone so she could be a lot more active. And then we started messaging more and more. And uh, one day, the first time we legit met, you know, and actually talked was in the school library library it was it was really fun really fucking awkward but it was really fun too and i could really ha i really had those feelings inside you know like man i really like this person and we talked and talked and yeah it was it was quite nice actually um eventually we started going out and eat a little bit like not actual food but you know snacks and uh, whatnot and then she followed me home the first time and that was that was quite fun too. We went for a very long walk, the very first thing we did and then then we went to my place and I showed her my house and it was all good and dandy. And we became closer and closer friends as time went on. And then one day uh, she followed me and my parents to this uh, forest on an island, more or less, not too far away from where I live. 
and we w we spent the day there and then once we got home to me uh we were like in my bed me and amanda and it was i was uh over her ish and we were like wrestling slightly and then i can remember how she like uh, crossed her arms over her face and then i slowly removed her f her arms from her face and I went in for the first kiss. And it was such a beautiful moment. Because I had even imagined it. Like I had, I had fantasized about this very moment. For a quite a long while. Prior to the actual kiss. And it was kind of like that. I had imagined it. And then it happened that way. I had thought of it kind of. And. It was just beautiful. That was. It wasn't my first kiss, but it was my first, like, you know, actual real kiss. And it was hers, too. So, that was a great moment we shared there. And, I mean, prior to this, we had held hands and we had hugged each other a little bit. And it, 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 basically, our friendship went kind of slow. But uh, it went about five to six months from when we started chatting the first time two when we became together so I guess it went kind of quick but in the meantime it felt kind of slow but it was really worth it um eventually I fell in love I think it was prior to this she knew I, because I told her but she basically friend zoned me she did that a couple of times but it was fine I wanted to fight on I felt like real feelings for her I couldn't give up and I didn't and basically she started liking me more and more I mean she, we started kissing, like making out and whatnot. So of course she started liking me, um, and then basically a couple of days after her graduation, when she finished uh, high school and I finished my first year of high school, uh, senior high school that is, um, it was her prom, and basically I can remember this is special. This was a pretty special day for me too, and I'm gonna tell you why. Basically, me and my parents, or mom, uh, me and my mom were at this supermarket. I stayed in the car, and I looked around, and then I saw a girl who I thought looked like Amanda. And then once this girl came closer to the supermarket, I saw, wait, that's not Amanda. And then after that moment, I noticed, wait, I had, I was inten intense, yeah, I was really happy to see this girl like I thought this was Amanda and that made me super freaking happy and once I saw it wasn't Amanda I got really disappointed and it was after this moment I noticed holy shit I love this woman and this was the first time I ever experienced true love it was beautiful and I told her of this of course a couple of days week later maybe a week later I don't know and she didn't love me back, but she had feelings, and it's kind of okay. And what's so funny is, like, three, three and a half weeks later or so, we were laying in my bed. It was, like, after midnight. Uh, it was the second or third sleepover, I think. And we were laying there just talking for, like, one, two hours, and that's it. We went together. It's we we became a couple and I couldn't have been happier and that's basically <laughs> a shorter version I guess you could say even if it took quite a few minutes to say it all but it is still shortened down version of how I liked her more and more she liked me more and more and how I started loving someone for the first time ever and how good it actually felt. Um, I had been dreaming of becoming together with someone, like getting into a relationship for many years prior. I have, I had been seeking love for quite a long while. And then when I actually finally got it, I was so happy. And sure, I've had my ups and downs with her. Sometimes it's been like horrible because of certain things. But overall, she made me so happy. And I'm just thankful she gave me a shot. She gave me a chance to bring her happiness it worked for almost two years then she lost her feelings and I guess that's fine as far as she can be happy I guess I can be happy 
And that's really what love is about, isn't it? <laughs> so that's it, guys. It's been fucking 15 minutes of me just rambling about love, but... Hey, that's my my channel, my videos, and you didn't have to watch if you didn't want to, so... I rambled on for a little bit longer than I originally expected me to, but whatever, It's it was my story. I had been waiting years, like literally, to tell it, so... That's it. I hope you like this story. <laughs> and if you have any stories of your own that you want to tell me, just send me a private message or uh, write it in the comment section or something. I I'd, I'd love to hear your love stories as well if if you're interested in telling them. Like I I I can listen. <laughs> That's I love is amazing. It's literally the number one thing I'm living for. And it's just the best thing ever to experience. If you haven't experienced love yet, just wait for it. It's Once you experience true love for the first time, you'll never want to go back to n not experiencing it, I guess. But that's it for me, guys. I really hope you got something out of this story. Maybe you liked it. Maybe you, it moved you. It touched you. Brought you to tears. I don't fucking know, but... <clears throat> oh god, I really, really gotta drink some water. Well, see you. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Whoa, for the longest, for the longest time. Whoa, for the longest, for the longest time. If you said goodbye to me tonight, there would still be left to write what else could I do a snake inspired by you that hasn't happened for the longest time